Hello guys, let's solve a simple problem using Bernoulli's equation. Then we'll solve the same using a CFD solver and compare the results. Okay, let's come to the Bernoulli's equation. We know that P by rho g plus V square by 2g plus Z is equal to constant. It means that pressure 1 by rho g, velocity 1 square by 2g plus Z1. All these things in the left hand side are the values in the inlet and all these things in the right hand side or the values at the outlet. If you are not familiar with this Bernoulli's equation, please watch my video suggested here. And we are having an area of 2 meter square and we are having a small area here at the outlet that is 1 meter square. Let's assume a velocity of 1 meter per second for a simplicity in calculation. And we need to calculate the velocity at the outlet by using our Bernoulli's equation. And since the pipe is horizontal, there is no difference in datum heights. So Z1 and Z2 can be cancelled out. If you cancel out these Z terms, we will be left off with these things. And now let's substitute the value of velocity at the inlet. And let's assume the pressure at the outlet as 0, uh, so that we can calculate the pressure at the inlet. And now this term will become 0. We want to calculate the pressure at the inlet, so we need to have an equation for P1. So I am bringing this rho g term to the right hand side. It will be like this now. Then now we need the value of V2, that is velocity at the outlet, to calculate the pressure at the inlet. We don't know the velocity here. For calculating the velocity, we can use continuity equation for incompressible flow. That is Q is equal to AV. That is the equation for continuity for incompressible flows in one dimension. So it says that discharge at the inlet is equal to the product of area 1 and velocity 1. We know the velocity at the inlet is 1 and area at the inlet is 2. That will give us a discharge of 2 meter cube per second. The continuity equation says that what is getting in should get out of the system. Since Q1 and Q2 are the same, Q2 also 2 meter cube per second. Q2 is equal to A2 V2. Since we know the area at the outlet that is 1 meter squared, we can replace this A2 by 1. So that will become 1. So the velocity at the outlet will be 2 meter per second. Now we have to substitute this velocity term here to get the pressure at the inlet. So this is also one output that we have obtained from this Bernoulli's equation. We will also compare this using our CFD results. Once you substitute the value of V2 in this equation, you will get the value of P1 that is pressure at the inlet. So 2 square minus 1 will be 3 by 2. And if you multiply the density of water, here we are assuming water is working fluid that is 998 kg per meter cube, we will get the pressure of 1497 Pascal. So the pressure change that is happening from the inlet to outlet is this much. We will also compare the value what we get from CFD. We are going to solve the same in ANSYS Fluent Solver. So the boundary conditions we need is the velocity at the inlet is 1 meter per second and velocity at the outlet that should be calculated from that CFD result. Theoretically we have that value as 2 meter per second. Pressure at the inlet that is to be found out from the CFD results. Pressure at the outlet is assumed to be 0. And theoretically we have found that the pressure at the inlet is 1497 Newton per meter square or 1497 Pascals. We have to check that using our CFD results. And the area at the inlet is 2 meter square. At the outlet is 1 meter square. If we know the area at the inlet, we can calculate the radius or diameter at the inlet. So we know that area is equal to pi r squared. Since we know the area is 2 meter squared, we can substitute that. And if you bring R onto the left hand side and solve this, you will get the radius value of 0 0.7979 meter. Similarly, we can calculate the radius at the outlet that is 0.5642 meter for an area of 1 meter squared. Let's move on to the CFD solver ANSYS fluent and do the calculation. Let's open ANSYS workbench. Okay, once the workbench window is open, just click and drag the fluid flow fluent system into the workspace. Create a geometry using space claim or if you prefer, you can also create with design modeler. Okay, once the space claim window has been opened, go to the sketch mode and select the XY plane. And start sketching. We need not to perform a three dimensional analysis. We can simply draw off of that in two dimensions and we can solve by using the two dimensional solver by using axis symmetric boundary condition. So let's have this as the axis and here we need to create a geometry of half of this. The inlet radius is 797.9 millimeters And let's have some arbitrary length because the length will not affect the solution since we are not solving a viscous flow. We are solving only the Bernoulli's equation. The radius of the outlet is 564.2 millimeters.
after drawing this sketch click the end sketching now a surface has been created we can extrude or revolve this surface to have a 3d model since we are interested in performing only a 2d analysis we can create a plane now the plane has been created now we can close this space claim we can see the tick mark here that means the geometry has been created now double click the mesh here we have to create the mesh now the geometry has been loaded in this mesh here click the mesh and create generate mesh so by default a mesh has been created but i need to have a refined mesh so i am giving an element size of 50 millimeters since it seems coarse so i am changing that to 10 millimeters actually we need to do a analysis to decide the size of the mesh we will see that in a different tutorial okay now we have created a very fine mesh and then we need to name the boundaries here this is our inlet so we have to change that to edge selection mode and click the inlet edge and right click and give a name selection as inlet and then select the outlet edge and right click then give the name selection as outlet and this is the wall let's name that as a wall even if you, even if we don't define that as a wall that will be considered as wall by the ansys fluent this is the axis we need about we need to have an axis symmetry click that edge and name that as axis so once you have created all these names now we can simply close this and we can update the mesh so that the named selections that we have given will be updated on the mesh once you see the green color tick in the mesh module that means the updation has been completed now double click the setup that will take you to the fluent solver since we have created a two dimensional mesh by default it is selected in 2d and we cannot go to a 3d problem and we can start once the mesh is loaded in the fluent here we can switch that to axis symmetric so that we can have an axis symmetry about this axis and then go to models and change the viscous model to in viscid so that it will not consider the effect of viscosity because we are solving only the bernoulli equation which doesn't consider the effect of viscosity then provide the boundary conditions axis is already selected if we double click the boundary conditions we can see the list of boundaries that we have named earlier the axis is already defined as axis because the fluent will understand the name of the boundaries that we give in the design modeler or ansys meshing the inlet is defined as velocity inlet but we have to define the magnitude of that velocity we have taken a value of 1 meter per second at the inlet during our theoretical calculation so let's give the same value here click apply and close this tab then go to the outlet boundary by default the gauge pressure is set as 0 so leave that as it is and close after providing this boundary conditions we need to set the cell zone conditions since we are having water inside this zone so go to the materials and first and go to fluent database add the water liquid to our system now we can see water liquid in our system so we have to assign this fluid zone as water so double click that and change that to water liquid and click apply so now all this zone is set to be water so once you have set all these boundary conditions and the zone cell zone conditions you can go to initialization and initialize the problem then go to run calculation and solve to a, for a number of 100 iterations once the calculation is complete go to the reports and click surface integrals and select phase at average pressure here and select the boundary at the inlet as we have calculated theoretically the pressure value here computed is 1467 pascals so the result what we had from the theoretical bernoulli's model is 1497 pascals almost they are same small there is small error that may be because of the mesh generation and all since that is numerical calculation there will be some small deviation and let's see the average velocity at the outlet see the phase at average go to velocity and 
click the outlet and compute. We expect 2 meter per second at the outlet. At the result is almost closer. We are getting 1.98 meter per second at the outlet. That is close enough to the result. In this tutorial, we have seen how to use Bernoulli's equation for a simple application. And we have verified the same by solving the same problem in ANSYS Fluent that is a CFD solver. If you like this tutorial, please don't forget to like and subscribe our channel MECTECH. If you have any comments or if you have any clarifications, please feel free to comment. Thank you.